How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Um, I think this might be our last video on this. We got four, I think, uh, four parts to this. I don't know. It should be the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing tore down because we're going to put the little pieces on the bottom uh, to stake it to the ground. And we're going to build the guardrail. I call it a guardrail. It's sort of like a guardrail. Let's keep the hot dogs from falling off the grill. So I call it a guard guardrail. Uh, so those are a couple things we want to, we, we'd like to be able to fire this thing up and burn all the paint off of it and get it painted. I did buy new paint for it. I, I picked up some heat resistant paint, so that should work out pretty good and we could get this thing, uh, uh, finished up and get to cooking on it. Uh, there's just a few little things I'd like to do. Well, like I said, do the guardrail, do the pins that go on the ground, and I am going to cut this off. We don't need all this extra weight on this thing. It's only going to go down so far, so we will be cutting this off. I might do that quick, I'm not sure, but it will have to be done. All this thing, it actually folds up pretty good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I want to keep the guardrail out at least past this lip right here because when I put my grate in, I want to make sure the grate still fits in the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it right to this piece going up and I'll, I'll weld some little, I, I cut some of these wee little tiny uh, guardrail posts, let's call them. Uh, hopefully we could weld them and kind of bend this as we go and it'll stay uh, the ring is definitely hard to bend and it's hard to get this ring just perfect for what you're doing I know they have a machine that does that uh, somebody mentioned it to me that uh, when I go the raise and lower this my hot dogs are gonna fall off I don't plan on raising and lowering this while there's food on it. Uh, I, I think if I need more heat, I could always throw more wood underneath there. I'm basically going to keep it in one spot once I put it there. I'm hoping that's how it works out. So, and this should help keep anything from rolling off if we happen to spin it around or something a little too fast, it wouldn't roll the hot dogs off. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on mounting this on.
All right, it's all finished now. Uh, the guard rail is on. I think this is going to work out good. And like I said, I don't plan on lifting this up and down on the heat if I can help it. I'd rather put it on a little bit higher level, maybe the second level, and just leave it there. That way um, I could just add wood if I need more heat. But my main thing was is to make sure the grate comes in and out easily so I could try to keep the grate in and out of the weather. Somebody mentioned uh, making this out of stainless. I, I know that my welder will weld stainless, but everywhere it welds, it's going to rust anyhow. Uh, stainless would have been a whole lot better on here. It would have been a beautiful rack. I'm not sure what stainless cost. Uh, I'm sure compared to this amount of steel, stainless is probably pretty expensive, but it wouldn't have really mattered because it still would have lasted, lasted a lifetime. If, if I ever decide that I want to build this out of stainless, I can. I mean, if I decide to change it and build it from stainless, it's not a problem. Uh, I just have to figure out how I would weld it, you know what I mean? I'd have to figure that out. So we got our guard rail on. This one here, I just touched it here, touched it here in a half inch in the center because of the rod going through here. I don't think any hot dogs or brats would go off e any of the sides. There's not even enough room here for anything to fall off of it. Okay, I think we got everything that we need for the bottom to be able to stake it to the ground. And I just cut some half inch pipe. I do believe this is half inch rebar. And we're going to bend uh, some 90s on these. And that'll be what we could use to stake it down into the ground. Those pieces there. And I cut some of these so we can put them at an angle. We don't want them uh, straight up and down because it will be hard to beat with that uh, cooker on the top. So we're going to just do them something like so. And uh, we'll weld them together. And uh, get them mounted to our uh, pedestal there. Alright, this is how we want to set these in here, like so, on the bottom, and that's going to, we can weld that right into place, and then when we draw our stake in there, that should hold it nice and firmly to the ground. be able to throw our steak right down in there. Okay, 
So we're just going to work our way around and just keep doing that. Now to work out for our steaks. I think that looks pretty good on there. Okay, back to our Dutch oven hanger. This is the hook that holds our Dutch oven. I don't need all this extra stock. It's just extra weight. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here and eliminate this big chunk of metal. Of course, we could probably use this on another project, so we'll keep that. Okay, I think our grill is looking pretty good. It's just about done. I like the hot dog rack or the guard well for the hot dogs. And the reason why I cut, and I'm going to show you guys, why I cut this off right here is when I put this rack on the highest level, and I, if I still wanted to have that on there, didn't have no room here. It was extra weight. We didn't need it. It doesn't serve any purpose. Um, and it still swivels just fine. No problem swiveling it on and off. So if I wanted to lower it a little bit more, if I just say I wanted to lower it, I could always cut a little bit of this shaft off and get it a little bit lower if I need it. But I think we're okay there. I'm not going to cut anything yet because I want to try it first. Once you use it a few times, uh, then we'll figure out what needs modified. What, what can we change on it to make it better? Uh, but right now, I honestly think that the, the cooker is about ready to go ahead and fire it up and burn the paint off of it. Uh, we want to get all the paint burn off of it and wire brush it down and give it a good paint job. Now we won't be painting the rack, you don't have to worry about that, but we will paint the hot dog, uh, the thing to keep the hot dogs from falling off. I don't think it'll hurt to paint that. I'm going to try to paint what I can to keep it from rusting as much as I can, but uh, we definitely won't be painting the rack. So next step is to tear it down and get it out there and get some wood in it and get it fired up. It's burning pretty good right now. Um, we're gonna let that burn down. I wanna get that rim real good and hot. Hopefully it'll burn the paint off of that thing. It's gonna take a little bit, but I think it'll burn it off. Seems to be burning pretty good. It's not actually caught. I mean, it's 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 burning good, but we, if you was gonna cook on that, you'd want that to surely burn down a lot. I think my wood could have been a lot smaller too. But it's it's burning. I moved that rack up so I could get more wood on there. Alright, as that wood burns down, I've been putting that rack uh, down a little bit closer to try to get the paint off of there. I think that's powder coat on there. I'm not so sure it'll burn off or not, but hopefully if we get it hot enough, it'll at least loosen it up a little bit to where we can get most of it off. At least off the inside of it. 
Okay, I got another piece of wood on there. I'm just going to go ahead and let this thing burn itself out. And then you can see the rims turning nice and dark color right now. So we know that rim's getting pretty hot. So hopefully it's loosening up that paint on there. We're just going to let it sit down and go ahead and burn out now. Uh, it's been burning for probably about an hour now. So I'd say close to an hour. Okay, we got our first pretty good burn in the fire pit. It seemed to do okay. Um, now this is the powder coat on the rim. That's what I was trying to get off. I really wanted off the inside of everything. That's my main thing because I don't want that in my food, you know. So uh, we let this thing burn pretty much all day. I mean, I fired it up pretty hot. And I kept wood stoked in it and it seemed to burn pretty good so i took a four inch grinder and i ground a little bit right here with the wire brush and it seemed to come off pretty easily so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this thing cleaned up we're going to take the four inch grinder and we're going to start cleaning all that paint off there so we could get this thing uh painted up with some good heat resistant grill paint on the uh cooker I think it's gonna be pretty nice so we'll see how it goes here All right, one of the viewers uh, on there had mentioned it to me about cutting a hole in this bottom so I could get more air up through the where the lug nuts are. So what I'm going to do is I've decided I could use a little bit more air. So I'm going to cut a little circle right in here just to let air through the bottom. Now I don't want to put the hole down here. Not only would it not look good. But this thing eventually is going to get ash in it and it might fill up. So I got all this to fill up before I'd have to pull it out of the ground and move it. So we're going to go ahead and get us a hole cut in there. Doesn't have to be a real big one. <clears throat> all it has to do is let air in. So that's our next little step here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be huge. All I got to do is let air underneath there. That should give us actually a good bit of air coming up through the holes, especially when we first start the fire. So I don't think one little hole up underneath there is going to hurt anything. And like I said, it'll give us more air. clean it up a little bit thinner I think that's okay it is an outside fire pit it's not gonna stay painted I'm sure usually this type of stuff in about a year it'll look like it's been there for 30 so we're basically gonna just go ahead and get everything wiped down with thinner and make sure we got everything clean as we can and we're gonna get some paint on this stuff
heat resistant rust-oleum paint for grills that's all I'm using All right, before I end this video, I would like to tell everybody that uh, go to my links in my description and go to the Amazon and are buying stuff. I want to tell you all thank you for that because that does help support my channel. And I try to leave a link in the descriptions. And like, I'll leave a link for the paint in the description. If you want to buy something from Amazon, all you have to do is click on that link. You don't have to buy the paint. You can buy anything from Amazon, and I get a small commission for it, and guess what? It doesn't cost you any, anything more, and you get to help my support my channel, which I do appreciate. I know in these times, I don't know what's going on, but the YouTube revenue has went down, uh, way down, and, and most people just, uh, you know, that's how they make a living off of the uh, YouTube revenue, and, and what I mean by that is, when you watch an ad on YouTube, uh, if you watch anybody's ad, they get a couple pennies out of that, or a penny or so. And that helps support their channel. So there's a lot of people out there that are not getting the revenue because people are skipping them ads and they're not making the money that uh, they used to. I think because of this coronavirus, they really, I don't know, they stopped watching the videos or they stopped watching the uh, ads. but. You know, there's a couple different ways that I make money on Amazon, and one of them is uh, by uh, small commissions that I make, and the other one is is I make a uh, I make a small amount of money off of YouTube by people watching the ads. So I would like to tell everyone for thank you for your support in my channel, and uh, we'll get on with this because we're just about ready to end this video here. Now, the fire pit is not done. Um, I mean, it's done as far as being able to cook in that Dutch oven and cook on the grill. But I have some more ideas on different things I can do with this to make it better, to be able to cook different things. Uh, I do uh, read all the comments. So leave your comments and ideas in the description down below or in the the comment section that way I can go to them and I like the one where they said the handles were too long um, I'm thinking right now I'm just kind of working in my mind how I can take this handle and take it off and make a tool that would hook on there and be able to lift my grate up and down or my Dutch oven up and down but also I wanted to do multi functions I would like it to be able to take a Dutch oven lid off uh, yeah, I know they make tools for that. All I have to do is come up, get an idea of how that tool's built, and I can build it right on the handle, so we can hang it somewhere and be able to have that tool to do a bunch of different things on our cooker. So that's in the future. Right now, we're going to get this thing. Uh, in the next video, you're going to see it all put together and fired up and ready to cook because we're definitely going to cook some good food. So. I would like to tell everyone, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.